In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top ongoing mega projects in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. These projects are all incredibly ambitious and will have a major impact on the country's economy and tourism industry. These projects are sure to transform St. Vincent and the Grenadines into a modern, thriving nation. Before we start, it should be noted that some of these projects are currently underway, while some are already completed or are almost completed. Now, let's get started with Number 10. International Airport Expansion The Argyle International Airport is St. Vincent and the Grenadines' largest and most complex development project. The airport is being constructed on the location of the previous E.T. Joshua Airport, which was destroyed in 2009 by a volcanic eruption. The new airport, which will have a capacity of 2 million passengers per year, is anticipated to be finished soon. The airport will significantly benefit the country's economy by attracting more visitors and businesses to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Number 9. Kingstown Port Expansion The principal port of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is Kingstown. The port is being extended to handle larger cruise ships as well as cargo ships. A new jetty, container terminal, and passenger terminal will be built as part of the development. The enlarged port will be able to handle more freight and people, boosting the economy of the country. Number 8. New National Stadium A new national stadium is being constructed in Kingstown. The stadium will have a capacity of 20,000 spectators and will be used for sporting events, concerts, and other large gatherings. The new stadium will be a major boost to the country's sporting and cultural life. Number 7. New Deep Water Port Yumian Island is constructing a new deep water port. The port will be able to accommodate huge cargo ships, boosting the local economy. The new port will make it simpler to import and export items from Union Island, helping to strengthen the local economy. Number 6. New Highways A number of new highways are being constructed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The highways will improve the country's road network and make it easier for people to travel around the country. The new highways will also make it easier for goods to be transported around the country, which will help to boost the economy. Number 5. New Schools the St. Vincent and the Grenadines government is building a number of new schools around the country. These schools are being constructed to meet the country's expanding population and to increase educational quality. Milton Cato Memorial Secondary School is one of the most famous new schools. This school is being constructed in Kingstown and is scheduled to open in 2024. The school will have a student capacity of 2,000 and will provide a variety of academic and extracurricular offerings. Another new school is the Biquia Seventh-day Adventist School. This school is being built on the island of Biquia and is expected to be completed in soon. The school will have a capacity of 500 students and will offer a Christian-based education. Number 4. New Hospitals St. Vincent and the Grenadines government is also building a number of new hospitals around the country. These hospitals are being constructed to improve healthcare quality and to accommodate the rising demand for healthcare services. Milton Cato Memorial Hospital is one of the most famous new hospitals. In Kingstown, a hospital is being extended and modernized. A new wing and operating theater and an emergency room will be built as part of the development. Another new hospital is the Union Island Hospital. This hospital is being built on the island of Union Island and is expected to be completed in 2023. The hospital will have a capacity of 50 beds and will offer a range of healthcare services. Number 3. New Hotels the tourist sector is a significant economic engine in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A number of new hotels are being built around the country to fulfill the increased demand for tourists. The Secret Bay is one of the most prominent new hotels. This hotel on the island of Biquia is famed for its opulent suites and breathtaking views. The hotel is expected to be completed soon. Another new hotel is the Landings at Buckamant Bay. This hotel is located on the island of St. Vincent and is known for its eco-friendly design. Number 2. New Marinas The yachting sector is also a significant economic engine in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A number of new marinas are being built around the country to fulfill the increased demand for yachting amenities. The Yacht Haven Marina is one of the most famous new marinas. This marina in Kingstown is well known for its world-class facilities. The Biquia Marina is yet another new marina. This marina on the island of Biquia is noted for its laid-back attitude. The marina is scheduled to open in 2024. Number 1. New Tourist Attractions In addition to new hotels and arenas, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is developing a number of new tourist attractions. 
These attractions are anticipated to strengthen the country's tourism economy and draw tourists from across the world. The Botanical Gardens are one of the most noteworthy new tourist attractions. These gardens in Kingstown are home to a diverse range of plants and flowers. The gardens are scheduled to be finished shortly. The Fort Charlotte National Park is another new tourist destination. This park is located on the outskirts of Kingstown and is home to a number of historical forts. The park is expected to be completed in 2024. These projects are sure to have a major impact on the country's economy, infrastructure, and tourism industry. I'm excited to see how these projects develop in the coming years. If you're interested in learning more about these projects, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be keeping you updated on their progress.